Starting our second week, hypertrophy and strength lifts. We got biceps, triceps, and back, or those lats. Four different movements for each muscle group. Let's get into it. First exercise, focusing on the biceps brachii, working both the long and the short head. We're doing some Smith Machine drag curls. You want to keep that bar tight to the body. I really like to use any type of straight bar, curl bar, or drag curls specifically. You don't really prefer them with dumbbells because you can't work that stimulus as well. Focusing on dragging the body. Super set with those drag curls. We got some preacher curls. We're doing single arm at a time so we can focus and get some extra isolation. Upper portion of the arm is locked in and we're curling that bicep from pretty much a locked out position. The arm straightened out to the face. Should be increasing the weight on this one as the reps are descending. Should finish with a heavier dumbbell than you started with. Third exercise after this one, we got single arm standing cable curls. So we're gonna angle that inside leg outwards just so we can open those hips up a little and get some extra leverage so we can get full extension on that arm. The arm is gonna start down by the side in a completely straight position angle that elbow outward and we're just pulling that cable in towards the chest out in front of us. That's going to give you better range of motion and better burn for the biceps. Final biceps exercise. We got single arm high cable curls, 3 by 10 each. This will be an easy transition from the previous exercise we just did. Upper portion of the arm, like many bicep exercises, we don't want it moving. Just the lower portion of the arm is moving. So straight arm and we're curling that hand into the face. Moving on to the triceps. We got a single arm rope cable pull down. We are angling that elbow slightly outwards. We are pulling that arm from a flexed position or bent past 90 degrees to an extended position. We're going 12, 10, and then eight each for this one. So increasing weight as we go, decreasing in reps. After we finish these rope pull downs, we're gonna switch to a rope cable kickback. I really like doing kickbacks with either a cable or a band as opposed to a dumbbell. The rope itself is in a great position so we can get that pendulum action going. Upper portion of the arm is parallel to the ground. We go essentially from a 90 degree angle to a 180 degree angle with every single rep that we do. Really will feel the burn in the short head of the tricep on that one. Third exercise for the triceps, we have kettlebell diamond push-ups. The fingers will be facing in towards each other I really like to do these from a kettlebell. You can also do them from a hard medicine ball if you have them. We're just doing push-ups, locking out on each one. You should feel this in the triceps and possibly a little bit the chest as well. Super set with that. We have our final tricep exercise. We have a dumbbell overhead extension. Definitely do these from seated. Get a little bit better isolation so you're not using your legs too much to perform the repetitions. Reaching down behind the head and extending, locking out over the head. We're moving it back now, working the lats single arm rows from a cable we're just leaning back we're pulling in a straight line parallel with the ground and we're drawing that elbow towards the hip you should feel lat engagement on this one sometimes with rows especially you can feel the biceps or the arms take over a little too much they're a lot weaker than those strong lats really focus on engaging the lats very difficult movement here we have archer pull-ups so we're focusing on one side at a time pulling towards that hand Try, really trying to engage the lats on the side that we're pulling towards. Our regression from this one obviously is an assist pull-up machine. You can still get those archers or adding a band under the foot will help you finish out those reps. Seated, double arm banded pull down. You can do these from almost anywhere in the gym. You can find them out. Just wrap those bands around and we're pulling down in a straight line. So I like to lean back a little on this one and sit a little bit behind wherever it is we have those bands mounted. We want to have those elbows a little bit away from the side so we can engage the lats. And the final exercise, lat pull down machines from a close grip position. This is really going to work the lower back. Many people on this machine use the wide grip attachment. The close grip attachment will be great for engaging that lower back. You can almost see it in the video. You really should feel the burn. This is a great superset for any sort of upper back exercise. And I hope you enjoy this upper body